project is the Formula One uh, paddock site. Uh, it consists of a uh, three-story concrete structure. It's uh, 300,000 square feet. We have uh, 11 months uh, to build the structure and develop the site for race day. The first floor is uh, the garage level. The second and third floor are the hospitality suites and there, there is rooftop terrace access. We received the site on uh, June of 22, uh, started our site prep for the uh, building pad roughly September, and then we started our first foundations on November, November uh, 18th of 22. And we're uh, just finalizing the last 30,000 square feet of the paddock building itself. Uh, we do have a, uh, a basement that was added to us uh, along with uh, two tunnel structures that are being uh, placed at this point right now. We did have to bring in import to level the site out uh, to the tune of 270 plus thousand cubic yards to level the site. It did have a 17 foot swell from uh, southwest corner to the northeast corner and right now we have a pretty much a level site. There's two private sectors that we're dealing with. One is the, the 42 acres that we sit on until turn four steps off site, then it becomes public roadway. And then the other private sector is uh, turns five through nine, which circumvent the uh, MSG sphere. Everything else is on pr uh, public roadway. Uh, Las Vegas Paving is our partner. Uh, they're the general contractor on, on the roadways. It's a higher density than the standard roadway. Standard roadway will last about three to possibly four years. Uh, this mix will last uh, six years uh, if it's undisturbed. The building size is 1,000 feet long by 100 feet wide. Our approach on it is we have an expansion joint at uh, 26 line, between 25 and 26. So when we initially started the project, we treated it like two separate buildings, and we progressed them uh, from west to east. And uh, with two separate crews, horizontally, then, start, then started stair-stepping going vertical. Once we had the forms stripped out, our MEP trades had the same approach with two separate crews and just chased it as two separate buildings until we met in the middle. Uh, that was uh, uh, one of our uh, time-saving approaches. Right now we're running about 400 uh, uh, tradesmen on day shift and about 100 on the second shift. Um, as far as safety, we did everything we can to provide lights, provide pathways, uh, keeping everything clean uh, so there's no slips, no trips, uh, and especially working uh, uh, basically around the clock on this. Planning for the summer on the heat, we have a couple of programs. We have a cooling station set up in case anybody gets overheated. When we have to be done and when the race is, two different stories. We have to be done roughly uh, uh, mid to end of September uh, to give the end user time to come in and dress the building out. Uh, we feel we're in a pretty good spot for that. The race uh, activities are November 16th, 17th, and 18th. Uh, team starts loading in roughly a couple days before that. We have to be ready for an inspection by mid-September. Uh, we start setting track barricades and fencing up on everything except the strip six weeks prior to the race. And we have Las Vegas Boulevard 12 days prior to the race. We have crews that are gonna be involved during the race doing cl uh, track closures and track openings, meaning that being on Las Vegas Boulevard and public roadways, we have to close the track two hours prior to the race uh, for inspection and then open it right after the race. So we have to do that every day. It's, it, it's gonna be fun.